Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, do hit the uh, link in the description box below. You can go ahead and book your reading with me. Um, and as we go through this reading, I'll let you know if there will be extended, if there's any other deep dive messages that need to come from this reading. Okay, just be mindful, you guys, that some of the messages may or may not resonate, so just take what fits, leave the rest. Remember, it is a general love tarot reading. All right, hope everybody's doing well. Hello, everyone in the chat. Okay, I'm going to just get into tarot. This reading is going to be for the weekend coming forward, um, May 6th through the 8th. So we'll see what the energies um, will be playing out throughout the weekend and into the rest of May. Okay, let's see. Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. All right, we've got judgment here, Virgo. So it feels like there's um, a wake up call happening here somebody's having a wake-up call um, coming to the truth of the matter getting clarity um, a fine somebody's making a decision okay they know what they want they know they got to come clean this could be like coming out of the closet somebody knows they have to come clean they gotta they're seeing something here and they're taking a look at their actions um, or someone is passing judgment on another person okay this is just like redemption is what I feel there's also revelation here somebody's seeing something for the first time all right Virgo. okay wow ten of swords first it, it okay that something's ended or that something is over there's clarity about this something has come to a full stop okay rock bottom somebody is their surrender here defeated um waking up to some type of truth about a situation or a relationship where it's like oh this is done dead in the water this is like we can't go there's no other floors to hit on the way down this is it this is a com this is like a complete ending here painful yes definitely it's just This is, um, I'm feeling rebirth when something's ending here, you know, it's kind of like, you know, when they, they say someone passes away and then, you know, they go up to the pearly gates of heaven. <laughs> uh, I'm just using that as an example. This is kind of like freedom because after the Ten of Swords energy is over, now there's this awakening that's happening here. You know, this is like being freed and lifted out of something. Okay, so I feel like someone's here um, with the Two of Swords listening to their inner guides, listening to their inner selves now, making a decision, needing to um, compromise. Okay, after I feel like somebody's coming to terms with some truth or gaining clarity and now they're thinking like, well, what are they going to do about this? What needs, what can be done now? What's the next step? Okay, what, what do I need to do here? Uh, this kind of feels like with the two, it's like a little bit at a crossroads here, needing to make a decision. What do I do next? Okay, uh, follow wishes, follow the heart's desire, nine of cups energy. So somebody here, after hitting rock bottom or after coming to this place where they know now they see somebody is seeing the light they are seeing the light they know that something's done here they know they need to do something here and make a big change but the question is you know how do i manifest my abundance my wishes how do i make something here come true and i feel like in relation to you virgo this is how do i feel like somebody here is I don't want to say is trying to manifest you, but I feel like 
somebody is realizing or coming to terms with with that nine of cups that you were like everything to them this is how i feel like you were a wish come true and i feel like they're realizing that maybe something is done here or something's over like like it's just completely dead in the water there's just somebody is recognizing that a relationship is like it's done and this is like going within with the two of swords and really seeing like their visions because and the reason why i say that is because this person has a blindfold on and so all that they can see in their mind's eye are just visions and thinking about how good things were how you were um you you brought them abundance you brought them hope you um you filled up their you met their emotional needs okay so this feels like a wake-up call somebody's getting clarity realizing um if something ended with you and another person if you ended it with them or if they ended it with you that perhaps it feels like they're rethinking that move here or they're just now it, it kind of feels like looking back on a relationship or a connection and seeing wow this hold on a second wow this really was what i wanted virgo is really who i wanted what i wanted okay so wow good for them <laughs> let me see is there actions that's going to be taken okay king of wands is here so you could be connected with fire energy aries leo sagittarius okay yeah um i feel like this person strange is becoming smitten with you okay um you're gonna get some communication maybe over the weekend for others it could just be coming up in may where this person's on fire for you um <laughs> It's almost as if something needed to end in order to spark up a connection in this person. Um, it, it feels like somebody's coming in with... It's almost like, an, like asking you to do something, wanting, wanting to do something some type of physical activity let me see what else is going on here okay the sun in the reverse okay virgo this is like this this person who's coming in and, and connecting with you i feel like they don't want to wait they they don't want to wait. This person is gonna is coming in and it's gonna try and um, reestablish an, a connection or try to get you back into their life. Okay, um, I feel like maybe there was just something going on where somebody wasn't treating you all that well. Um, they weren't appreciating you or appreciating a connection with you. Um, I feel like somebody here doesn't want to wait. They want to try to rebuild a foundation with you. Okay. And like I said, for some of you, it could be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be, but they're coming in with that fire energy, taking this uh, like a, like a bold step. This is not something that I feel like this person uh, really did before. You could have just been dating this person for like a month or just a short amount of time. And Maybe you decided this isn't for you um, or you just realized you had a wake up call and you just said, no, this isn't going to work. Um, you could have ended something or just decided you weren't going to continue dating somebody. You know, whoever your person is or whoever this is, it, it could be somebody. Um, I feel like you know them. I feel like you know them because when we have judgment, that's uh, that's can be like a reconciliation card. 
okay? Um, and somebody is, it feels like rethinking, changing their mind, rethinking some type of situation here. You know, like, wow, no, Virgo was what I wanted. All right, let's see. So, yep, Ten of Pentacles, uh, Three of Wands. So I feel like this person is, if you'll have them, you know, they want to go the distance. They want to, like, put some roots down with you. You could be at a distance from this person with the Three of Wands. You both could live across the water, like, real far when I say distance. Because um, this is, like, looking out onto the horizon. This person sees a future with you. And I feel like this person's going to come in and try to like reestablish with that page of wands energy. Um, uh, they're going to take action here. They're very um, like they have this desire here. Okay. They have this urge to try to recreate or create something here between the two of you. They feel they're feeling inspired. Um, for some of you, it could just be because you ended a relationship, stood up for yourself, you know what you want. Um, of course, it doesn't mean that, you know, like I say all the time, you have free will. You don't have to um, engage again if you don't want to. But I feel like this person is, with that Nine of Cups, like, it feels like you are a wish come true from them. for them. They might have said that in the past but never really acted on it. And so you might have felt like there was a little bit of cognitive dissonance going on. Like, well, if they say that to you, how come they're not acting on it? You know what I mean? And now this person is, is actually going to be acting on it here with you, Virgo. Look, the Hierophant. So this person's coming in 100% ready to conform, meet your expectations, you know, um, even if it's marriage that you want or a traditional committed relationship, this person's coming in. They're like, yeah, I'm ready. I want to do that. I'm not going to break your heart. Um, and if there was some type of a heartbreak, they're coming in to try to heal that. You know, um, whatever actions they took or if they've caused some kind of heartbreak because some of you wanted something committed with this person, perhaps, or you were seeking progression for it to go down that road, and perhaps it didn't. So there's healing here, okay? There's an apology. Somebody's coming in to apologize to you. Um, there's physical healing. This is like someone, this person's trying to come in and recover, this relationship it could have something to do with recovery maybe there was um this person's like hit rock bottom from substance of, of uh, some type of an addiction and they're coming they're coming in like recovered and they found jesus and they found the lord or whatever it might be maybe they have like a recovery partner or something it's like there's change happening here i feel like we've been talking about addiction a lot yeah a lot of regret and remorse too many spilled cups Too many spill cups. Um, this person, I feel like there's regret and remorse for making you feel, uh, for abandoning you or making you feel unloved. Okay. Um, because in turn, you know, you don't water your flowers or give it sunlight. It's going to wilt and die. And that might have happened to you where you just got into this place where you just felt undernourished in a relationship um, or somebody just what I feel like for some of you, they might have said that they were going to, you know, come in and, and they were passionate about a connection and, you know, they were willing to go the distance and, you know, chase after you or um, not even chase after you, but pursue or they were willing to. Um, yeah, they were, they were, they wanted to do this, um, but said that they had too many burdens and too many struggles, or they, they didn't make it happen, or they might have said they were, they were just too busy, so I feel like there was a lot of conflict. feels to me like this person is actually coming in to try to reestablish this connection and follow through here. Okay. Yeah, Six of Swords, overcoming some type of fear here, making this transition. They might even be offering to move, relocate to where you are, or just relocate out of where they are. 
Yeah, it feels like um, this person knows that this is a transition that needs to happen or or like it's dead in the water, it's done. It's just, there's no there's point of no return. Um, this person is, is seeing this, that like you're gone, you're done, you're not moving forward, you are not investing in this, you are not pursuing it. And you know, if this person is gonna come in and try to uh, just, initiate the spark but not do something about it you're not going back down that road you are um because you need to see some bloody stumps and i feel like this person is actually going to make this move here because you're yeah. let me see how you're feeling virgo what's just going on here with you okay king of cups in the reverse so hmm you might believe you might feel like this person was emotionally manipulative or was playing with your feelings um, or they were smothering or insecure and also this could have something to do with an addiction so um, I feel like some of you Virgos have your mind made up about this person and you don't trust okay look justice is here so you know, they might have been dishonest. You need this person to come forward. They might have been unfair. Um, maybe they were, hmm, strange message. Maybe they had legal problems um, or there was a lawsuit. Somebody, there might've been a lawsuit connected to this person or maybe some kind of a financial situation, tax issues or a divorce of some sort. And this, you need this person to like do the right thing. That's what justice is. You need solutions. You know, you're not working out of a problem-based scenario. You're working from a solution-oriented based scenario now. Like if the problem can't be solved, there's nothing you feel that you can do because if this person was manipulating the courts or trying to, um, it was just very insecure, like you need this person to come right, um, to come correct quote unquote as people say um you know you need the truth to come out if, if this person was manipulative emotionally you need them to admit that not just you know what i mean and then that kind of thing like there's some i don't know that you're seeking some kind of answer but i feel like that's going to be the line that gets drawn in the sand yeah ace of wands in the reverse like you're not trying to have any false starts you're not trying to get yourself in a position like if you felt rejected um you might even give this person the truth and say these things to them you know and tell them you know you either somebody kept delaying or they were just brutal in the relationship with you or just the way they were handling things okay and i feel like for you virgo you're not playing games. You're not having any of that anymore, okay? So this person is definitely coming in um, with the Page of Wands energy in the sense that they're, they're, it feels like their thoughts are going before their actions, and I feel like there will be communication. Um, the Page of Cups, I'm sorry, the Page of Wands can be, like it's an energy of someone who's just so, there's, there's a spark still there for you from this person. They, they definitely feel, let's see what else is going on here. Okay. Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Empress. Okay. So for some, this person could have been involved with somebody else who was, um, or still could be, who was financially dependent on them. It could have been a, a mother or uh, a parent who was, you know, where there was kids very financially dependent on them and kept the relation, this held this person back in a lot of ways, um, or they just weren't ready to address that. It doesn't have to be a parent. It could just be a mother, could be a family member, um, that they were like um, financially dependent on. There is someone else pulling the purse, purse strings in their life dictating to them some oh it's so weird okay um that this your person could have also um 
it feels like there was there's something to do with jealousy. They're telling me jealousy, envy, um, workaholism. That's very strange, and and just like a um, financial dependence. Not this, you know. It, it feels like somebody was just extremely. Somebody else was relying on them. That's what I feel. Uh, it's either a family member or a spouse, an ex, or someone that they were involved with before. Okay. Now, why are they telling me this? Okay. Hmm. Huh. of cups. Oh, well, this is part of the apology. Because I feel like maybe you didn't know, or maybe you do know now, that somebody here, um, I feel like, there's going to be like an apology for allowing somebody else to interfere or for them seeking to get involved with you before when they still had this energy that wasn't cleared out. Okay. I feel like this person's going to come in and volunteer this information to you. They're going to volunteer this apology. Um, I feel like somebody here still wants to move forward with you. Okay. Um, and they also just said apologize to you if they said to you that you were too financially dependent on them or you just weren't someone. Oh, it's harsh. It's like you were too needy of them. They might have said that to you. It may not have been true, or it may have been true. I mean, I don't know your story, but it feels like this person, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for um, devaluing you in that way or, or telling you I didn't want to be with you because you wanted all my money or you were being a gold ticker or you were just, which is weird because Virgos are super, super financially independent on their own. Um, there's definitely apology coming in. Wow. Somebody's owning up for some serious, serious ish. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it's that. Okay, so they're coming in as that fire energy, but a, more passive. So the apology is not going to come in like a forced apology. You know, um, it's going to come in. This person's coming in to give reassurance to you that they were wrong that they made a big mistake okay that not i'm not saying that you need the reassurance but they're coming in to assure you that it had nothing to do with you and that they really messed up and you know they've had a wake-up call they are getting their clarity they know that you know they need to straighten themselves out this could be a friend this could be a family member it could be a spouse or lover remember take it as it, re as it resonates for you Okay. Yeah. <laughs> also, it feels like apologize for any kind of abuse. Like I said, um, do I think this person was an NARC? No, I don't. Um, but I do feel like maybe there was some traits that were working here or somebody was coming in with, you know, that's just selfish, maybe spiritually disordered might be the other word, like a lack of humility, being more selfish. and harsh queen of swords so now we have fire and air okay there was also an influence of two other females connected to this person who had a like an influence on um they there's two other females here that told your person to cut you off to get rid of you which is harsh. I don't know why anybody would say that, but I feel like they were in competi competition with each other for your person. And it could be males as well. So just understand that. Um, either they were in competition for your person or they were, um, could have been uh, sisters or brothers. Um, I feel like that played a role. This feels like also for some like, 
a, a group of fam family members, like a mother and two sisters or a father and two brothers or a father and two sisters or whatever, you know, like a parent and some siblings that your person was attached to that had an um, influence on... <laughs> an influence on your person and I kind of feel like your person I don't feel like they're manipulative actually I feel like they might have just been weak and insecure and didn't know how to you know um, speak truthfully and speak about what they wanted and how they felt about things and they allowed they, they were they were manipulated that's what the five of swords is there they were manipulated by somebody else that might have um, they could have been bullies or they were abusive other people you know like abusive with their words verbal abuse saying things about you and this person came in with this very negative um, energy or they had very negative energy with you they then were being abusive emotionally I feel like somebody here is that's why I said when we have judgment this is a major wake-up call this is not just you know oh hey I realize I'm putting on too much weight I need to go on a diet this is like life-changing the the judgment card this is like major wake-up call okay and that's why I kind of feel like what's happening here is um, whatever influence, this person was very confused. It could have been one person that said things to them to keep the, there was jealousy and envy to keep them away from you. And this person might have believed it. Man, that's some super, super harsh energy here. Um, your person might be... Um, very easily conned or manipulated they might be very codependent very easily conned and manipulated and um when it comes to the emotions like so in other words uh, another person or other people connected to them you know it it's it's hard to pinpoint covert emotional manipulation but i feel like that's what the energy was with somebody else to your person so it's like definitely and that's why we had the three of swords in the reverse because there could have been another party influencing the situation and this person coming to terms with that like i feel like somebody here really loves you really truly or just saw so much potential like i said they're like you filled all of their cups in the nine of cups it didn't get to the ten of cups because there was some type of break or something ended but it may have like it felt like here in this reading that it was going in that direction and this person um could they be your happily ever after this person feels like yes but as of right now they always knew that you were right for them let's get a couple of messages here from the romance angels okay pay attention to the red flags yep there was definitely red flags in this reading um, on all fronts, on all fronts. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others here. And reconciliation. Yeah, this is definitely a wake-up call. And this person wants to come back into your life and try to reconcile everything. You know, try to resolve any issues, sort things out try to make things right with you they see here the red flags they didn't see how they were being manipulated they didn't see how they and and that doesn't give them a pass because if they were acting out of the way they were manipulated they were taking actions without you know making decisions from what they intuitively felt was right and following um you know their logic or their heart um i feel like this person is like that's part of that wake-up call like wow they were throwing red flags at you and and they were throwing red flags they were being thrown red flags i feel like this was just 
like a trend that just uh, like a virus that was coming from a particular source either an ex or a family and it just spread okay um that's such a strange message let me see okay so there's forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so i do feel like this person is coming in and asking for your forgiveness they want to heal this connection and uh, it might be like can we start again can we try again clear out the energy here that you know whatever happens i mean like i said for some of you this could have been a long time ago um and for others this just could have been someone you dated for a short while and there was too much in too much heavy influence from others which is always a red flag you know like when when you're in a relationship with someone that relationship should be private between the between two people right private between two people it doesn't mean it should be hidden it just means it should be private and there was a lot of somebody let heavy influence from others get into it's like a seed somebody allowed someone to plant a seed into someone's head or in a relationship and then that just proceeded to grow but it wasn't like a healthy seed it was like a weed it, you know just taking over and cause a lot of confusion i feel like someone's come like they're waking up to this um they're coming to terms so it feels like if there's some kind of break which it, we saw here with the ten of swords there's been time to assess there's been time to sit back and reflect on what actually was going on like the dust had settled you know things are becoming clear now the understanding you know time has a way of doing that let's see what else is going on here okay here we go again two of swords see this person going within right here and they're like what really was going on trusting my intuition i needed to make a decision blocking out all the other voices and you see the moon there that's like because the moon is there to let you know that there was a lot of um um oh, i can't find the word deception and there was a lot of deception this person um is is going within as i was saying going within and um the things they couldn't see now they're trying to get clarity on that trusting their intuition and their gut not listening to anything any it's a, it's almost as if they're becoming the judge and jury of the relationship on their own rather than letting anyone tell them otherwise you know whether they should or shouldn't do something who they should or shouldn't be with these could have just been for some of you some this person could have just had some old tapes running in their head uh, based out of fear okay you know this is like really taking some time blocking out all the noise and asking themselves what do i want what is this what what was i in where was the truth and where were the lies sorting it out okay um i need to make a decision and this decision is coming in with this person wow five of pentacles so this person is like completely abandoned everyone in their life or, or just anyone that would have any kind of influence on them so that they, they're gone into you know i know i don't have the hermit card but they're gone like within with the two of swords you know they are also taking a look at how they it's just been a dry desolate wasteland that's been going on in their lives there's nothing going on around them they actually are clearing out like maybe going to a remote place i'm feeling the word remote they're in a remote place and you may not um, be in communication with this person they may have blocked you or blocked out any type of communication because why they're they're actually thinking this this whole thing through this whole relationship why they held back you know why they delayed why they didn't move forward when they knew and they felt like you were everything to them they're taking a look at this you know yeah look ace of pentacles seeing how this this was like the opportunity of a lifetime with you okay um why they didn't invest 
when the opportunity came, they're taking it like self-reflection. That's what I'm hearing. So they're definitely going to be coming in and trying to reestablish this connection with you once these burdens have been been lifted. Um, once because I feel like right now they're like so stressed and exhausted, but they're definitely going to be coming in um, with this wake up call coming towards you. You know, now that everything is ended um, and I'm hearing something about like, can we start again? Okay. Yep. Reciprocity. Going to try to, oh, Virgo, this feels to me like, wow, you're going to have to make a decision between two people. Hmm. Hmm. You might be connecting with somebody right now who's, you know, are you talking to who's, um, you know, giving, supportive, um, giving maybe to your kids. Um, you might have a boy and a girl. You could be connecting with someone who's like, you know, good, has a good job, very stable, very resourceful, someone who's, you know, down to earth, grounded, like obviously it could be a, 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 an earth sign. And this person, like, you know, they're investing in your relationship if, if and, and only if that resonates for you, um, you know, investing in the relationship, you know, being uh, there day to day, it's like every day, but your passion, like your wish is for a, a king of wands I'm seeing here, or someone who's got that fire energy. That's like the person you are like, that's your, they're your wish come true. Okay, so the other person is kind of like, <laughs> there's a lack of passion with another person. And whoever this king of wands is that I keep seeing in this reading, that's the person that like your cornucopia, that's the person. Um, I feel like there might be an energy of feeling torn. Okay. You, you know, you could be involved with somebody right now and your person could have had somebody else also, and something couldn't go forward because of that. I feel like you're going to be up against some kind of decision here. Stay with the person you're with or, um, allow somebody that you really couldn't have anything with um, try to pursue a relationship with you. <laughs> Ace of Swords, Virgo, oh my goodness. So, oh boy, definitely an energy of some new conflict happening here. You're going to have to make a decision. You are. Mental clarity here. You're gonna have to cut somebody out because this is a surgery card. You're gonna, you are going to be thinking about cutting somebody out. And I don't know who it's gonna be. I feel like, you know, the person with you, if you're with somebody right now, is pretty stable and secure and reliable, very much like yourself. The other person, that King of Wands energy, driven by passion, passion and Maybe not very emotional, but definitely passionate and really lights your fire. Okay. And, and for some of you, you know, if this, if you don't have somebody else in your life right now, this could just be you saying to yourself, do I want to get back into this passionate affair with, with this King of Wands or do, you know, or do I want to just try to find someone who's more steady, stable, and consistent? you know, you might be making a decision to cut out the King of Wands. Okay. And just remember when I say the King of Wands, I'm describing the King of Wands as someone who's bold, um, charming, courageous, you know, passionate, lights your fire. Um, someone who's, you know, a, kind of feisty in a way, like there's a little bit of kickback between the two of you. Um, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. Just understand that. Let me get a couple of more messages here from the Island Times. Okay, seduction, there you go. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So this is very, this is very much a seductive relationship. There's like so much passion. 
Um, this person is going to be definitely flirting with you. Um, they want to hook up. There's, there's a lot of temptation. They're highly attracted to you. You know, um, and the third party interference, you know, like I said, some of you could already be with somebody. And now this person's coming in to interfere. You may just not want to ruin something that you're in with someone, or you may not want to ruin yourself <laughs> by allowing this to happen. But whatever the situation is, this is high level seduction here. Like I feel, even if you, some of you might just be in this place where like, you know, this person just, the passion is there, but they're so not good for me. So not right for me or this situation so not good or so not right for me like what's going to happen there's a lot of um a lot of temptation connected to this they want to hook up with you you want to hook up with them but it's like okay it's it's like a, um you, it cannot sustain and i feel like somebody's you know this person is coming in to try to sustain here something with you okay talking Okay, there's going to be some communication, like I said. Um, an awaited message is going to be arriving here, Virgo. Um, interest, somebody's interested. They want to talk to you, have more conversation with you. Um, they either by text, a call, or an email. You know, um, this person's definitely going to be like circling uh, your periphery or your area. Or, you know, you're going to find them on your phone a lot. Um, find them in your email you're, you're gonna be getting like a lot of um I just feel like this person's gonna be kind of hovering around your around you in some way like like a hawk <laughs> like a hawk on its prey <laughs> okay if that scares you then you know you know what you need to do okay endings bring new beginnings the coffin there's growth change liberation there's a transition happening here Virgo Okay, so, you know, be wary. Some of you might just, just say rest in peace to this. You're not doing this again. And for others, you might put an end to someone that you're with. Okay, soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. So there's some unfinished business here. And I, I feel like that's why this connection and this reading is going in this direction. There's some unfinished, unresolved business or issues here. Okay, that's why all of this, I feel like, is happening. Okay. Um, it, it's why this person is having this wake-up call. It's why this person is coming in to um, reach out and connect with you. Okay, There's some, there was something there between two people. And um, something kept it from moving forward. People, places, or things, okay? And like I say all the time, you know, you don't have to, you can just be like, you know what? I don't need to finish this business. I'll just keep it moving. It's fine. I don't need, uh, I'm fine. I'm good. I don't want to get back into this whirlwind, passionate affair where everything just falls apart and it's too damaging and you're, you're not taking a risk with this. You're looking, some of you are just like, no, nope, stability's fine. Someone's to take care of me, take care of my kids, take care of, you know, whatever. Someone who's charitable, someone who can be reciprocal. You're not trying to, you know, you're, you're looking for a give and take and you might, so there's a thing here where some of you, okay, like passionate affairs can be so exhilarating but at the same time they can be so damaging too you know what i mean when the when the, the strictness of the relationship is just passion when there's no um consistency so it's kind of like it's like the the it's like the person who's just living their day to day and then they're you know but they're going to the strip club because they're looking for that that passion and that that you know fill in those those fantasies <laughs> i'm sorry to use that as an analogy but i just legit saw a stripper on a pole what can i say <laughs> all right let me take a look i want to see what the love messages are here okay awakening someone is undergoing an awakening here i'm telling you all right 
this is definitely it could be you too it could be both of you like they're awakening to the fact that you're it for them and you might be awakening to the fact that you're not it for me okay whereas it could have been reversed in the past let me see Okay, regret. Yep, someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. They're regretting this and they're coming to terms with that because for you, Virgo, I feel like you're out. Three strikes, Virgo's like, you're out. I'm out. It's done. You're not, this person's trying to come in. I don't see you trying to uh, reinstitute or um, reconcile with somebody here. I don't see you initiating anything. That doesn't mean you're not. Um, but I'm not seeing in this reading yet anything like that. But I do feel like someone's got regret and they're waking up to that and they're coming back in because they feel like they really lost the best thing they ever had. Okay, new love or recommitment to love is developing. So, you know, like I said, you could just be... The way this reading is playing out, and because there's an or, this is definitely a, a recommitment to a relationship. We'll, we'll start developing here, okay? And some of you just might say, no, I want new love, or I want to just stay with the person I'm with. Like I say, it's always up to you at the end of the day, okay? And here and now, your true love is already part of your life. Okay, so however that resonates for you, I'm going to let you just figure that one out. Um, it could be, I, I like I was saying, you guys, I feel like you're at a crossroad here. Um, let's see what this person who's trying to reconcile with you, what's going on with them? What is their hidden truth here? I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, so that's definitely a firm message that you are absolutely, you left. You're, you're like, I'm out of here. I'm telling you, you guys said, that's it. I'm not coming back to this. They feel it. You might not have even said it, but you you just showed. You might have just showed. They feel it. That has a lot to do with why they're returning. Yeah, this person's very passionate about you, Virgo. They want you. Oh, my God. Point blank period. This person just wants you. You are it. Why? Because just being near you is intoxicating. They have a very strong passion for you. There's something about you, Virgo, that this person, their eyes roll over on the back of their head when they get thoughts of you. It's the passion. Maybe it was the physical intimacy that you might have had with this person, or it was just the way you were with each other, or the touching and the kissing. Um, Okay, this person, I hide, I, was, I hide behind material things. So I was saying earlier, like workaholism of some sort or uh, somebody just, they might have already done that or. It's a strange message. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but I, I feel like you might know hiding behind material. Okay, somebody, all right, they're just showing me like a sports car. Um, flexing somebody flexing this person your person might be like a flexor <laughs> you know look at my fast car look at all my you know it, it, it's either who you're with now or your past person if you're not with anybody but um, somebody might have just been show show one upmanship showing off okay um, in some way or or uh embellishing that they had all this great stuff that hiding behind these material things due to insecurity they have like this great house so they, are they're gonna do these things they ha they have are they gonna have all this money are they they're gonna have like very materialistic kind of energy okay and this person left you before you could leave them um, and for some of you, this person, you, some of you left this person emotionally before actually leaving them. Okay. Um, and this person, like you could have already been like emotionally detached from the relationship before they actually left, or they did leave while you were still there. And then you just said you didn't. Like you, you might have, maybe you chased for a little bit or you tried to pursue, but I think some of you just said, no, I'm not, 
I'm not going to keep pursuing. Okay, um, either way, and sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So I do feel like this person has some nights where it's really difficult for them to sleep. You're on their mind. They think about you. Um, they might even be looking you up or searching you out. You know, um, they're keeping them awake and they should be sleeping. Okay, the end of a tough cycle is approaching. Okay, full moon and Capricorn. Maybe you're connecting with a Capricorn. Bring love into the situation. Okay, moon in Aquarius. So somebody could have a moon in Aquarius. Okay, show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. This is new moon, but so somebody, okay, somebody's got moon in Aquarius, that's for sure. If that's you, give a shout out here. But the messages here are show the world the real you and bring love into a situation. I don't know what situation, I love all the colors. We've got so much blue and purple. <laughs> I'm like totally matching. <laughs> so that's a Virgo thing, excuse us. Um, excuse us Virgos, it's how we are. Okay, so some of you like, I don't know. You gotta be transparent with your heart. That's what I'm hearing. Especially if you have a moon, Aquarius moon, be transparent with your heart. If you've got Capricorn moon, um, whatever this tough cycle that you have been dealing with, the end of it's coming. It's right around the corner. I think the next full moon, when is that? Isn't that on the 16th? You'll begin to feel that energy. So a couple of weeks, this, this whole thing is going to shift and change, even if you're not moon in Capricorn. Okay, so don't sweat it. But like I was saying before, one of the readings, that full moon energy stuff is going to shift and change. I don't know if it's in Capricorn. Um, I'm sure you guys could figure that out. I'm sure you would know. And Moon and Capricorn again here. Hard work. All your hard work and effort, Virgo, that you've been putting in um, is, is going to start paying off here. This is crazy. Okay. And a fiery climax approaches. Moon and Aries. So, like I was saying, there's definitely a passionate, fiery kind of thing coming this way coming your way, not this way, please don't bring it this way, coming your way um, from somebody else. You know, it could be an Aries too, um, or you could be connected with a Capricorn or Aquarius, but this person, like it's coming, Virgo, it is coming. Let me just get a couple of extra messages here for you. Okay, money in the bank, good for you. Somebody has regret. Maybe they didn't have enough money in the bank. Somebody's feeling regret. I think I talked about that. They're bored, okay? They're bored. They're, they're suffering boredom with whoever they're with. They're, they're um, even going out, girls night out, guys night out, whatever they're doing, it's just not satisfying to them. They're bored in their life, okay? Somebody's getting a loan for something, maybe a car or a home. There's a love offer coming. For sure, there's fear and anxiety. Somebody's dealing with a lot of fear and anxiety at this time. But positive vibes, go out in the sun, Virgo. Get some vitamin D. Start taking your vitamin D. Just try to go out and, and have that, that sun energy. You know, be joyful as much as you can. Find the joy. That's what I'm hearing. Find the joy. Well, okay. Seek the joy. Let me just see. I'm going to do a couple of... Take a look and see what signs we have going on here. Because I did say um, I was seeing a lot of fire energy. Um, I want to just check, see if there's any other signs here for Virgo. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, three freaking times. Pisces, 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 all came out at once. I can't even believe that. That's crazy. Okay, so we got water energy. And we were talking about the water sign, the King of Cups. Let's see what else. What other signs? Okay, Capricorn flew off to the side. We've got another Virgo involved in the here. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Aquarius, and Taurus. what else okay so Aquarius again Virgo again Pisces again and now Libra let's do one more
Okay, we've got Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aries. That might have just been all the signs. I don't even know. Okay, let's take a look at birth dates or special days or whatever numbers come up that are resonating. I saw some of you guys make the comment on my um, role-playing dice. <laughs> it's hilarious. I've never played a role-playing game in my life. And... Um, but it did say role-playing dice, so I don't even know what that means. I thought maybe Dungeons and Dragons, but I remember that game when I was in like school, like high school or elementary. I never played it, so I don't know anything about that, but I guess these are the dice for that. But you know what? It's all connected. The Dungeons and Dragons, all the spiritual stuff, the medieval stuff, um, you know, Wiccan pagan stuff. It's all connected right here. So... Maybe I should play that sometime. Okay, somebody's 58, 57, someone's 56, 51, 55. Um, okay, I'm seeing somebody's born in 1976. Um, hmm, someone, we have a birth date in 1985. We have 87. Doesn't have to be birth dates either. These could just be specific dates. Um, Let me get a couple of others. August 5th, this hearing. Okay. So they're just giving me these, these years. Okay, so 19... All right, so I, I'll just say the numbers and you tell me 65. Okay, um, they're giving me uh, 79 again. Okay, we're getting... 2021 they're saying i'm getting november 2nd um also november 2022 is going to be a significant time period for somebody um somebody might be 59 or born in 59 somebody's 21 um i'm getting the year 1971 uh, November 9th. Okay. So, 25. Number 25. Um, 75. The year 1975. Uh, 1968. 1982. Um, August 22nd. I'm just hearing... Um, okay, so, so September 2nd, um, August 28th, these are for the Virgos, 1972 or 73, um, September 6th, 12th, 5th, okay, um, August 26th, 25th, um, September, did I say 12th? I think I did. Okay, so just remember, if these numbers and dates or what have you don't resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, okay? And if I didn't call a sign, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Let's take a look and see what the Chinese signs are, either you or your person or both of you you could be connecting with here okay year of the pig year of the ox year of the rooster year of the dog year of the rabbit year of the goat and one more oh we have a goat twice and we have the horse okay well that's your weekend reading i hope that that was helpful and gave you a little bit of insight and um, what might be going on, what could be coming up for you, or what's currently happening in your love life. Um, I am going to do an extended reading because I want to see how all of this will play out at the, you know, I see somebody coming in, but I also saw that there was some choice here. 
that you had to make. So I want to see what's going to happen. I'm going to take a look at the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands, and I'm going to see what you're going to do, what your energy is going to be, and you know how things are going to play out the outcome basically okay so there'll be a link underneath this video to click on to purchase the extended reading and if you don't i hope that you have a wonderful weekend and i will see you all here make sure you join my channel so you can become part of my community get your membership and you can pop in on sunday 4 p.m eastern standard time and get a free mini reading with me all right you guys if not i will catch up with you in a couple of days have a great weekend Love you. Bye.